Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the concept of permanent income hypothesis. Let's get started. Moving to the permanent income hypothesis theory. Actually, this theory is being formulated by a very famous economist who is known as the father of monetarism, who is Milton Friedman. So, this person is identified as the father of monetarist school or monetarism or monetarist school okay monetarist school so he had formulated this theory in the year 1957 so the theory says that Changes in consumption behavior is something which is not predictable. So, you cannot predict it. Why? This is because it is something which is based on the expectations of individual. People will be forming certain expectations and this will be having some implications on policy. But before looking into the aspect of policy, we have to understand the role of expectations in deciding the behavior of the person. So, it is a consumer spending theory. This particular theory is considered to be a consumer spending theory which states that people will be spending their money at a particular level which would be consistent with their expected long term average income. Okay, this is a very important thing. They will be having an average income and that too not a short term average income. They go for their long term average income case and they will be forming their expectation based on that and they will be spending their money at a level which would be consistent with this particular expected long term average income. So what here happens is that even if some policies are successful in increasing the income, these policies might not be able to kick off a multiplier effect in the economy. And this is something that will come in regard to increased consumer spending and you know what is multiplier effect. So you will be going for an initial autonomous investment in the economy. A change in autonomous investment will be causing a change in income. And this change in income will be leading to change in induced investment. And this will also lead to change in income. So like that. Again, there will be induced investment which will lead to change in income. That means the economy will be growing. Okay. So, in the initial investment that is made in the economy by the government, the autonomous kind of investment that is made by the government in the economy will be having a multiplier effect on the income generation. This is what you call as the investment multiplier effect and not only with respect to investment you have multiplier effect, you have multiplier effect when it comes to um, trade, when it comes to taxation, etc. So, it is something that is uh, used in diverse, diverse arenas. So, when you say multiplier effect, what you mean is that the initial change would be having some implication on the effect the effect would also be changing as a result of initial change in the cost but the co the change that you have on the effect will be identified in identified as a change with some multiplier effect okay so moving to the theory put forward by friedman we could see that the theory predicts that there would not be any uptick in the consumer spending and this will be happening until the workers form some expectations. So, the role of expectations regarding future income is being highlighted by Friedman. Role of expectations about future income. This is what is stressed by Friedman. Now, he assumed that people consume their income or the people will be spending their income 
and this is something which is based on their their expected future income expected future income so this influences people's consumption okay and this is something which is opposed to the keynesian point of view where keynes always believed that people would be consuming their income by considering their income that they have in the moment so he believed that keynes uh, considered the income after tax that is disposable income this would be influencing the consumption okay he believed that as per keynes consumption is a function of income he never considered anything like expected income okay so here people would be preferring to smoothen their consumption they don't want to have some gems or bounces in their consumption because why should we consider for gems and bounces we have to take into consideration these gems and bounces because there will be some fluctuations in their income you cannot predict that the income that you earn today will be there forever or else you you might be having some increase in your income in the future either your income would be falling in the future or else your income would be rising in the future some fluctuations would be there and it might be some short term fluctuations but you have to take that into consideration in reality but actually as human beings we don't want actually we don't want as rational uh, consumers we don't want any kind of bounces and gems in our income we just want to have a smooth level of income to have a smooth consumption pattern if it is a rise in income in future then it is always acceptable but we don't like to have a fall in income isn't it so whatever it may be we don't like to have a bounce in our consumption behavior we don't like to have a gem in our consumption behavior we always want to have all our needs and wants satisfied by purchasing all the goods and services that we wish to have so we always like to have a smooth consumption pattern so here we need to consider the different different scenarios that we can have in practical situation just think about a worker okay a labor and here the labor is aware that he would be getting some income as bonus he will be getting some bonus income at end of a particular pay period so this is what he expect so this shows he is expecting a rise in income isn't it in the future he gets a rise in income and this is something which is considered as plausible that the workers spending in advance of that bonus may change in anticipation of additional earnings and also here you can think that the worker will be choosing not to increase the spending because he know that it is a short term win for the lottery that you get and this is a one time thing is isn't it just because you got a lottery today that doesn't mean that you will be getting lottery tomorrow also and also like uh, if you if you meet if you have to meet some unexpected expense today that doesn't mean that you will be meeting with the very same expense tomorrow isn't it so here sometimes the worker choose not to spend this income that he got as a short term win for instead what he makes is that he will be trying to make some effort to increase the same so rather than spending rather spending the money the labor may save the money because he know that it is just a windfall gain that he receive now and this this decision whether to spend or to save the money decision regarding decision regarding whether to spend or save
so this decision depends on your expected rise in income okay if you expect the same rise in income in the future as well you may spend it otherwise you think that okay no the income will not be rising in the future if that is your way of thinking then you will be saving this complete windfall gain that you have you, that you have received now so the spending habit of people this is something uh, the scenario would be similar if some people are informed that they are to receive an inheritance like, like they will be getting some land or they will be getting some money as inheritance from their forefathers they are getting the very same isn't it and the expenditure that you will be making and that will be something that depends up, depends upon the anticipated fund your expectation regarding what you will be getting in the future and the theory says that you will be maintaining the current level of spending level so as to save the supplemental assets whatever assets you have gained you have a tendency to save it save it okay and this if you save this will provide you some long run or long term growth of your money but if you spend it immediately what you do is that you will spend this extra gain or this extra bonus or the extra money do, that you have got as lottery you what you do is that you will be spending this all of a sudden all in once you will spend it everything you will spend each and every uh, rupee that you got but if you save it you are you are thinking about a rise in your income in future let's consider something on liquidity now here what does it mean by liquidity so liquidity means the ease at which you change your asset in your money you could change or you convert asset into money the e said means you convert something into money okay so the liquidity is something which plays a very important role when it comes to the expectations what if people are having no assets there are individual uh, who doesn't own any asset and there are some individual who own some assets isn't it so for people who own no asset so the individual with no asset in the habit of spending without regard to their income so here you have to consider the different sections of cat uh, sections of people who will be in the different level in the ladder of different levels of income different levels of assets and here you will your decision pattern your consumption pattern whether you have you decide to spend or whether you decide to save all this depends upon the changes that would be there in your permanent income and if you have some elevated expectations you might be thinking about okay today i'm uh, having a job tomorrow i'll be getting some promotion if i get some promotion tomorrow my salary would be increasing and uh, if that is the case i'll be able to increase my spending so if you go for such elevated expectations then your your spending would also increase so that is all about uh, today's session uh, thank you for watching you can uh, like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and also you can be a part of our telegram community you can join it for free to give uh, some discussions uh, to clear your doubts etc i'll be providing the link of the very same in the description box and also you can download learn economy app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's all about today thank you for watching and uh, kindly like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos